What's up, lunatics? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're back in the bait laboratory, or uh, or you could just call it the garage. But let's call it the bait laboratory because that sounds a little bit more fun. But welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and uh, let me know that you're new and that you're a new subscriber um, to my channel. I really want to grow this channel. Um, I've been doing videos for a while now and it's just it's continuing to slowly grow, but I'd like to see that pick up a little bit. Not exactly sure what I need to do different. So if you have any ideas, I'd love it if you commented down below as well. But today we are going to be doing a color match on some swim baits. We're going to be doing the white pearl color. Pretty basic color, shouldn't be too difficult to get right, but you just never know when it comes to bait making and plastic making. So hopefully everything goes smoothly, hopefully everything works out, and we don't waste a bunch of plastic like we did in the last one that we made. But um, basically the other day I put out some baits, um, some bundles, it was like some four and a half, some six inch, and some Ned Worms, and somebody wanted some. And then I put out a picture of my Alabama rig that I made in a, the one that I made in one of my previous videos and um, they asked if they could add some swim baits to the order and they wanted that white pearl color so I said sure let's do it so I decided to record it as well so here we go we're gonna make some white pearl ripper swim baits using our duo molds so follow along learn how to make them um, or just watch so you can have some entertainment either way hope you enjoy the video please like comment share the video that'd be cool as well and subscribe so let's get into it let's make some swim baits okay so this is what we are trying to color match like i said a minute ago a pretty basic color it's just going to take some plastisol and some white pearl powder i think and then we should be good to go on getting that color so should be pretty simple but sometimes you just never know you put too much powder or whatever and things get messed up so follow along let's see if we can get this right so we are starting off with one cup of our soft baits, crystal clear plastisol to the Do It Molds brand. Um, we got one cup in our measuring cup. We're gonna put it in the microwave, get it all heated up, and then we will add our uh, pearl powder. Okay, so while everything is getting heated up, or the plastisol is getting heated up, what we got right here is our Do It Molds Ripper swim bait molds. Inside here are the small rippers. We are also going to be using our dual injector, but obviously, as you can see, I've got it taken apart. So we're just gonna be doing the single injector. And then we also have our pearl powder from Soft Baits by Do It Molds. And those are gonna be pretty much everything that makes up our swim baits today. Okay, so our plastisol is ready to go. So what we're gonna do is take some of our pearl powder. And with powders, you gotta remember that a little goes a long way. So we're just gonna take a small amount of our pearl powder clean off our measuring spoon here. This is a quarter teaspoon measuring spoon and I'm gonna use about half of it. So it's basically gonna be about eighth of a teaspoon, put it in there. <clears throat> then we are going to get it all stirred up inside. And that might be enough. We might have to add some more, but I'd rather start small and then add it in instead of going too heavy and then it just being you know not what we're looking for and thankfully since we're not doing a laminate we're not doing like crazy colors or anything like that we can obviously put one in there and pour it just to get like a little test run and if it doesn't work out we can always throw it back in there so we're not wasting plastic um, I think we can get it you know pretty close without having to do that but I think we're gonna need to add a little bit more in there yeah it's just a little bit too see-through and according to that picture, it looked like we needed um, a little bit more of a solid color. So we're going to add, you know, another eighth of a teaspoon in there. So basically we got a full quarter teaspoon in this one cup of Plastisol. And I think that that's going to do it. And I think that's going to be enough color or enough powder to get us that white pearl color. And like I said in the beginning of this video, this is a very basic color. So it's not going to take a whole lot in order to color match that picture. It's basically just Plastisol and that powder and we should be good to go and that's obvious yeah it's definitely getting more 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 color to it more pearl to it a little bit more white than that clear translucent kind of pearl color so i think we're going to be good good to go with this and we'll do a little test run see how the swim bait turns out and uh, decide if we need to make any more adjustments okay so we have a single injector and like i said a second ago this is actually a dual injector that i took apart 
and I'm just using it as a single injector. So we are gonna drop some of this plastisol into our injector. And we're just gonna pour one swim bait right now just to see how our color looks. And should have got a good pour. Hold that pressure on there for a second. Gonna lift up, top off our sprue, just like so. And I think it's gonna need a little bit more, more pearl. I think there's, so it's a little bit too translucent for what I'm going for right now. Okay, so we're gonna test our first swim bait, see how it all looks. So we're gonna undo our clamps here, separate our molds. I'm gonna pull out the sprue real quick and let's we'll see what this looks like. I actually think that that turned out pretty, pretty good. I think I'm gonna go with that. I actually like that. I don't, I think it looks really good. I think it looks really natural. Um, it's a little bit less pearl, I think, than what's in that picture, but I think that looks really good actually. So I think we're gonna stick with that and we're gonna make up some more of these to fill that order. Okay, so here we go with our second set of swim baits here. Drop or plastic, we're gonna pour two of these. I only have two of these molds, so I'm a little bit limited on how much I can do at one time. We're gonna to top off that sprue, go over to the next one, fill it in. These are pretty small molds, so it doesn't take a lot of plastic, but you still definitely wanna to top off your sprues and everything like that so you don't get air pockets and everything. And um, it's pretty, pretty simple when you're dealing with single colors like this and you're not doing laminates. Um, as you saw in my last plastic pouring video, I ran into some trouble doing my laminates, but single colors are pretty easy. So if you're just getting started with making your own plastics, definitely start with the single colors because it's it's actually kind of hard to mess them up unless you add too much color, too much uh, glitter or something like that. But overall, um, it's pretty simple and you can get some pretty cool stuff. Okay, let's pull out our second round of swim baits here. Check them out. I'm gonna pull off the sprues again, put them in my Remelt pile, because I'm probably gonna make some more swim baits in this video using the remelts on these for myself, because the person that ordered these only wanted um, six of them. So I'm gonna take the remelts, add a little bit of plastic, uh, a little bit more color or a little bit more um, glitter or something like that. So we got another good one. Set that aside, pull out the next one. And that one turned out pretty good as well. These are actually really cool. Just super subtle, super simple, pretty cool. Okay, so we're going on to the fourth and fifth swim baits right here. Go over to the next one. That one's full. Top off the sprues on each side, just like so. Put the extra back inside of our measuring cup and then we got one more to make to fill this order let's check out our fourth and fifth swim baits here separate them sprues are going to go inside our measuring cup to do some stuff later with and <clears throat> here is our swim bait right there looks good put it in the bath check out the next one and that one turned out pretty good as well. Put that one in the bath and we got one more to make. Okay, so we're gonna make our last swim bait right now. Go into the mold, light pressure once it's full and it doesn't take a lot on these small ripper molds. And then we're gonna top off our sprue just like that. And that is our sixth one. The customer ordered six of these swim baits so i'm just going to make these six and then we're going to remelt our sprues and stuff and um, add some different glitters and see if we can't come up with something kind of cool okay so here we are with our sixth and final swim bait turned out pretty good we're going to take that sprue off put it in the bath and uh, we'll go on to making some other ones so here we go we got all of our swim baits in the bath cooling down getting nice and cured all the way we'll be packaging up these shortly and getting them shipped out to the customer but like i said they only wanted six of these so we got six of our white pearl swim baits in there and uh, we'll add some flakes to those sprues and see if we can't come up with something cool okay so our remounts are done 
And I'm gonna get a little bit crazy here and I'm gonna add a little bit of black to it because I wanna make a smoke kind of color. So it's gonna be like a white pearl smoke with a purple flake and is what we're going for right now. And I'm gonna be try to be very, very careful with this black. I'm gonna literally just put one drop in there and I hope that doesn't overpower it. Um, but I'm hoping for like a pearl smoke color. <clears throat> so we'll see what ends up happening. I don't know that the black is mixing in as good as I was hoping for and I'm afraid to add more in there because it <clears throat> I don't even really notice it being in there so we might have to add another drop of black in there I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit scared to do it but we're gonna go for it so we got two drops of black in there now okay yeah I can definitely see the change we definitely got like a smoky kind of color in there <clears throat> and we're gonna take 0 0.008 hexagon purple glitter and add it in there and see what it ends up looking like and I got we'll go with a quarter teaspoon of purple glitter and we'll see what this ends up looking like I think I think it should be kind of cool um, <clears throat> we'll see the final product here shortly but that purple definitely brought out that that smoky kind of the black pigment that I put in there it definitely brought that out and it darkened it up so we'll kind of see what these look like all said and done okay so we got our smoke purple glitter plastis all ready to go so we're gonna draw it up into our injector and we are gonna make two of our swim baits all right hold that pressure on there We'll go over to our next one. It's actually a really cool color. I'm gonna be kind of interested in what it's gonna look like all said and done. And then top off the sprue on this guy right here too. And pour the extra back inside. Okay, so we're gonna check out these swim baits, see how they turned out. Open up our mold. And that's actually a really cool color. I am very happy with that color. I think it turned out super cool. Check, oh, I just dropped it. We'll get the other one. And I think that definitely turned out really cool. Okay, so our next round of swim baits with that smoke purple glitter color. All right, uh, even gentle pressure and then you want to hold steady pressure on your mold get any of the air that might be in there out <clears throat> top off the sprue go to the next one same thing all over again hold that pressure and then top off the sprue and then put the extra back inside so we're going to check out the second round of swim baits open it up once again, turned out pretty good. Take that sprue off, put our swim bait into the bath. Check out the next one. This one turned out pretty cool too. Take that sprue off, put it into the bath, and then I'll make up some more and I'll check in with you guys here in a second. So here's our two different color swim baits we got in the bath right now. Everything's curing up. But as you can see that that little bit of color change that I added to that white pearl made a big difference in how the entire bait actually looks. So like I was saying, you definitely gotta be careful adding colors in, but I think both of these swim baits actually look really, really cool. Well, that's gonna do it for today's bait making video. I think both of those colors turned out really, really good. I think both of those colors will definitely catch fish. Um, I hope that I'll be able to post up some pictures of the customer that bought those white pearls with some fish caught on them. So um, we'll see about that, but um, I hope they're happy with that color match. I think it turned out pretty good and it's pretty darn close to that picture that I put up in the video in the beginning. And then I think those remelts turned out really cool. I think it, it turned really, really blue for some reason. It must have been that the way that purple and the smoke and the pearl all kind of came together and it kind of turned everything blue, but I definitely think that that color is going to catch some fish and I have some other ideas with those swim baits and cutting them down and making them really small and putting them on a jig head to mimic some really small bait 
that we have out here in my neck of the woods. Um, they've been chasing chasing the breakers a lot lately, or the, the bass have been chasing the bait fish and they've been breaking. And I mean, the bait fish are just super, super small. So I'm thinking about maybe making like an eight ounce jig head and putting just the tail of that thing on there and seeing if I can't get them to eat that, burning it back to the boat. So we'll see, maybe if I can find a hook that'll work, then I'll, I'll try that out and see how things go. But I hope you liked today's video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Please comment what you thought about those swim baits that I made in today's video. Um, let me know if you think they'll work, if you think they'll catch fish. Um, please give the video a thumbs up. And like I said a second ago, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more videos.